Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have another new arrival to show you. This is the 2020 and a half Salem by Forest River model 273 QBXL. Uh, it's a quad bunk unit outside kitchen. Comes in about 5,500 pounds unloaded and this is approximately 34 feet in length. We'll go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside, take a look at some of the features there. And then we'll come back and, start, uh, and take a look at the outside features. Let's go ahead and jump on inside. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of this 273 QBXL. And as you can see, you've got a nice open floor plan here. Uh, when you walk in, you'll be greeted to this nice jackknife sofa that will turn into a bed if you need it to for a smaller child or something. Um, back behind here, it's probably going to be kind of hard to see, but there is storage back there underneath this little shelf here. And one thing that I absolutely love is all of these windows. It makes it feel so much brighter in here. Um, and it's really impressive how big these windows are. Coming over here, and we'll take a look at the uh, storage underneath this dinette here in a, in a bit when we circle back to the kitchen. But you do have this nice, huge U-shaped dinette. There's plenty of room to sit the entire family down and have a meal or play some cards or something. Um, which is awesome. And uh, one thing I do want to mention, you do have seamless countertops in your dinette. Really everywhere in this unit you have seamless countertops, which is really cool. <clears throat> uh, one of the options that we've applied to this one, and it really makes sense in a trailer this big, is we have applied the 15,000 BTU central ducted AC in here, which is, um, it is an optional piece of equipment. Not every one of these is going to have it, but the one in, uh, in this video does. Over here on your entertainment center, you'll notice you have plenty of space to be able to put a TV, uh, and a fairly large TV at that. You could probably fit a 42 or a 46 inch uh, TV up there pretty easily. You can see your uh, connections down here as well as an electrical outlet. And then down there in the middle, you'll notice your AM FM Bluetooth uh, multimedia center that'll control the interior and exterior speakers. And it does have face, mount face mounted USB and HDMI ports. So if you want to hook up a, a Chromecast stick or a Hulu uh, Hulu TV stick or Roku or something of that nature you can and then down below you'll notice the uh, little shoe garage there or pet dish area and then you have the 5200 BTU space heating electric fireplace there which is something you don't normally find in these uh, smaller uh, less expensive units on both sides of that you do have some good storage for DVDs or whatever you want to put so again, good extra storage there. Um, and then this switch here, that's for the LED accent light above your slide out. Uh, I don't have power hooked up to this one currently, so I can't show that to you. Um, but uh, you do have that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and we'll jump to the kitchen now. I'll kind of give you a nice preview of it with everything uh, with all the cabinets closed but uh, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at this kitchen and see what kind of features it has to alright guys so we're in the kitchen now of this 273 cruise light and we'll go ahead and we'll start up top here so uh, right here you do have a nice overhead cabinet notice you do have the shelf in there and uh, that shelf is removable too by the way so if you want to have a if you've got some or Ah, I can't talk today. If you have some taller items that you want to stick in there, you can easily remove that shelf, which is awesome. And you'll notice the uh, the glass doors there as well. Up over here, uh, you do have the control panel. So you've got your water pump, water heater, and some lighting controls, your tank monitoring panel, your slide out, and your awning controls, which is a nice up out of the way spot where the kiddos can't get to it. Electrical outlet there. And you'll notice your two heat ducts here. So this does have cabinet ducted heating, so it's really easy to clean. There's no heat ducts in the floor. Lots of countertop space. That's one thing I like about this unit. You've got the aluminum drying rack here. You'll notice the uh, dual basin sink, pardon the, uh, the mess in the sink there. We don't uh, clean our units 
uh, really well until they're until they're sold. But whenever you take it home, it uh, it will be uh, nice and shiny and clean. Or uh, <laughs> nice and shiny and clean. Sorry about that. Uh, two two uh, full extension ball bearing drawers down here, and I'll go ahead and slide those shut so that we can take a look at this nice big spot for a waste basket down there which is uh, again something that a lot of people really like you do have an oven in this unit and the three burner cooktop uh, this does have the cooktop cover applied to it as well nice big picture window there too by the way uh, overlooking your campsite and then uh, You've got your microwave here. Again, I was a little off on the weight. Uh, this one actually weighs 59.37. Um, if you have a half ton pickup, you should uh, be able to pull this very easily. And again, it is approximately uh, 33 foot three inches. Um, I think I said 34 foot earlier. And then this is the best in class uh, feature in this in this particular unit you have a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt ever chill compressor driven fridge these things are awesome they're extremely reliable um, they use three amps of power um, and they run the run off your battery which is getting charged by your uh, pickups charge line anyway when you're going down the road so it's really really uh, really traveling friendly and if you combine this with a solar panel um, you can basically run this thing indefinitely which is awesome last part of the kitchen we'll kind of go back here around the hallway but you do have this nice oversized pantry and uh, another full extension drawer so you can use this as for kids clothes uh, extra pantry extra linens whatever you want to put in there I did forget to open something up and I do don't want to forget about it but you do have the more store or the stone go storage system so you've got these nice bins underneath the dinette which is awesome and those are food grade quality so if you want to stick food or, or something in them uh, you can do that and one thing I also noticed they left that open back there you know another good spot to store shoes or big bulky things you know like cases of water and stuff um, so I, I really appreciate that all right guys let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the bunk room of this 273 QBX up all right guys so we're in the bunk room of this 273 cruise light and as you can see when you walk in the door you have this nice thermofoil countertop plenty of room to set a small TV you've got USB and cable and 110 outlets down underneath there you do have a hanging wardrobe and so many bunk houses miss this um, they'll give you nice divided you know dresser storage but they don't give you a spot to hang the kids clothes and I think this is awesome um, just the fact that you even have a hanging rod is in here is really cool you got a window there that is an emergency exit plenty of lighting back here although I don't have it turned on this one will have the jackknife sofa here to make your fourth bunk there is storage underneath that as well and up here you'll notice you do have the teddy bear bunk mats usb ports uh, on both sides which is awesome um, now this one does not flip out out of the way which is one thing that i've seen some of uh, this layout do but again you've just got you know a pretty nice bunk room arrangement more usb ports over there and a heat duct down there AC duct is in the roof uh, another window over here but all in all for a pretty compact little bunk room it it does all the all the things that it needs to it's got good storage uh, you can sleep a lot back here it's got you know daytime seating capacity um, if it's a rainy day and best part about this is in my opinion you actually have a solid door so you could so mom and dad you can sit there and you know if it's a rainy day you guys can have the living room to yourselves you can tell the kids hey go back in your room and stay there all right guys let's go ahead and we'll jump slightly forward to the bathroom and take a look at some of the features in there so we're in the bathroom now this 273 cruise light and as you can see you do have a tub shower plenty of room to stand up 
Uh, it does have the ABS surround on it. A lot of trailers in this price point do not have this. Um, and it's a standard feature on the Salem cruise lights. This does have the optional skylight though. So if you're a taller person like me, I'm about 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 uh, you can stand up there easily. Still thermal foil cab, uh, countertops. Nice big sink, GFI protected outlet. You do have a plastic medicine cabinet that does have a mirror on it. Um, so good storage there. More storage down underneath here. And then you've got the uh, cubby hole there for some towels and such. And then um, you do have the foot flush lever toilet. Uh, little compact uh, bathroom in my opinion, um, but it, you know, it is a bunkhouse and uh, bunkhouses are not typically known for their, or for a big bathroom. Um, so this is pretty average size for a travel trailer. Last thing I do want to note, you do have the powered vent fan up here. Um, to exhaust some of the uh, steam when you're taking a shower and stuff and such. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the master bedroom now and take a look at some of the features there. All right, guys, so we're in the master bedroom now of this 273 cruise light. And uh, first thing you'll notice, you do have a queen size bed. I do want to lift this up for you. And pardon the terrible camera work while I was doing that, but you do have these nice bins down here. And the cool thing about these is they kind of act like a dresser space. You do have extra storage underneath there for shoes and such. But, you know, it, it it's a neat little thing that Salem and, and their sister brand Wildwood do. And uh, you'll notice plywood decking on here, not OSB. Uh, as you can see over there, you do have USB ports on both sides of the bed. Uh, you also notice the little cubby hole over the, on, on both sides. Um, and the cool part about that is if you use a CPAP machine, they have outlets in your closet. So you can set your CPAP on the side, run the cables out the little cubby hole, which is again, really handy. You do have hanging storage on both sides. I just have the one up here, uh, on this side open. You do have the shelf up there as well for some extra storage. Nice windows on each side. And this does have the roller nightshades. I forgot to mention that earlier. So you do have the MCD brand uh, nightshades. And lastly, if you do want a TV, you have a backer in this wall here. So you can add a bedroom TV if you want with the appropriate uh, connections up top. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the outside now and take a look at some of the features out there. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2020 and a half Salem Cruise Light model 273 QBXL. Up front here, you do have the nice uh, smooth aluminum nose sweep. Uh, diamond plate rock guard up here. As you can see, you do have rails for your battery. Battery disconnect back in there too. Two 20 pound propane tanks and the power tongue jack with the built in LED light. Uh, so you don't have to sit there and crank on it um, for, for days, uh, especially if you have a weight distribution hitch. Coming up over here, you do have your Furion solar port, and then you also will have the uh, controls for your front electric stabilizer jacks. Yes, I said that right. This does have power stabilizer jacks all the way around, which is awesome. Coming in here, you do have your pass-through storage. Nice big storage. You have tool storage on that side for your manual override cranks and such. So again, awesome bit of storage there. You do have the magnetic catches on it as well, which is awesome. Nice big power awning. It does have LED lights in it, and the speakers also have LED lights in them as well. You do have the nice uh, Lippert LCI, or, uh, LCI solid step here, so that'll fold up inside the door and uh, has adjustable feet on it as well friction hinge door that's a new feature for 2020 so you can stop anywhere I stop this it's gonna stay there and it's rated to about 25 miles an hour winds six gallon gas water heater and you'll notice your potable water fill there as well furnace exhaust and this is the dual axle version um, being as big as it is you notice the nice new uh, fender treatments they didn't have this last year and it looks really good uh, along with those big uh, uh, black uh, steel wheels. 
electrical outlet here in case you need some power. And I wanna take a second to talk about this sidewall. So it's an aluminum trailer with wood construction underneath it, fiberglass insulation. Um, but this does have a, it, and I encourage you to actually get out on the lot and look at, at uh, a trailer like this. But this has what they call the tough coat uh, sidewall on it. So it has a scratch resistant um, coating on it, which is really cool. It actually has kind of a texture to it. And uh, the other neat thing about this that we noticed the last year when we had a hailstorm out here, these trailers didn't get as damaged as some of the other ones did that did have this. Now I'm not saying that this is impervious to hail because it will get dented up if, if the hail gets big enough, but these resisted the, the uh, quarter to half dollar sized hail that, that we had out here a couple of times a little bit better. All right guys, so right here you've got your uh, exterior kitchen. You have your new Suburban griddle. This thing is awesome. It's a propane powered griddle. There is a propane disconnect or a quick disconnect underneath there. You got a little bit of uh, exterior cabinet space. Now this does not pull out. I kind of wish it would, um, but I understand why since this griddle probably gets really hot. You also have a little mini fridge and there's an electrical outlet and a light in there as well. And then back here you do have your rear power stab jack controls. Now those are not levelers, they're stabilizing jacks only. You still have to level your trailer from side to side with blocks. Spare tire and carrier. And then back here you have your city water connection and your black tank flush. Those are two, or uh, the black tank flush is an item you don't normally find in this class of category. Again, pardon the wind noise, it's kind of breezy today. Backup camera prep. And then down here, you'll notice your uh, cable and satellite hookups, which is pretty cool. Coming along this side, you'll notice your 30 amp service right here. Uh, there's your termination valves uh, for your sewer. And then as you notice, you do have uh, one power slide out. It is on the Schwinn Tech system. What that means to you is you have, if you notice these little uh, worm gears right here, so there's one on each corner. So this is probably a little better spot to talk about it. This is the Schwintech mechanism. Um, and it, the cool thing about it is it's a self-adjusting slide out. So um, when you put the slide out out, if you hold it um, after it's gone all the way out, it'll up adjust itself left to right, up and down, and in and out just a little bit to make sure that it's aligned properly, which is, again, which is really cool. over here here's the other side of your pass-through storage and uh, yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the outside it's it's a simple starter class family bunkhouse um, it's got lots of features for the price um, if you're interested in in pricing availability uh, feel free to message me in the comment section below or you can give me a call at 806-335-2336 uh, You can also view this unit on RV Trader If you have any questions uh, comments concerns criticisms Feel free to put those in the comment section below uh, If you'd also like to get in contact with us via email uh, You can reach us at contact at custom-rv.com uh, the dash being a hyphen. Last little bit, uh, remember at Custom RV, we don't do hidden dealer fees. So your PDI is included, your walkthroughs included, battery, propane tanks, starter kit, all that stuff is included. You don't have to pay any extra that. And we don't charge you to finance it or, uh, with your own bank or pay cash. That's, uh, we just don't believe in those. All right, guys. If you could do me a favor, hit that thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Also feel free to like, share, and subscribe if you wanna keep up with more of our videos. Again, thanks for watching guys, and uh, have a wonderful day. Make sure and stay safe out there.